First, nearly five months after the murder of a pregnant woman, we're learning new details about what police say happened before and after two men killed Layla Duarte de Luz. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. The 34-year-old woman was found submerged in Carbuncle Pond in Coventry back in December. Investigators revealed they believe she was still alive when she was left in the water. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto is in Warwick with the new details from court. Well, tonight, police are calling this a very detailed investigation, saying surveillance video interviews with witnesses and cell phone data really help piece everything together, leading to today's arraignment. They're believed to have met in prison, and now they're facing murder charges together. That's one of the many things prosecutors unveiled in court today as Gary Gronkowitz and Michael Lambert face a judge. Both are accused of killing Layla Duarte de Luz, the pregnant woman police found submerged in Carbuncle Pond on December 21st. The body was found by a witness who had arrived at the pond to fish that morning and called 911. State police say the man in the white, Gronkomitz, is believed to be the father of Deleuze's unborn child. Investigators say the two had a history, initially engaged in October. Gronkowitz had just bought a wedding band two days before the woman was found dead. Gary Gronkowitz, Michael Lambert. Police describe Lambert as an associate of Gronkowitz. According to police, he was only out on parole for a few months after serving time for a 1995 murder. Police say the two suspects spent most of their time in Lambert's car on the day of the murder, starting in Brockton when they picked to lose up. Investigators say cell phone data shows the group eventually spent time in Coventry, too, near Carbuncle Pond. Six days after the murder, police say they called Gronkowitz to ask about Deleuze. Prosecutors say he then claimed to know nothing and even said not to contact him if they find her. Now, both suspects were ordered to be held without bail. This case now moves to Superior Court. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. First tonight, one of the two men charged with the murder of a pregnant woman gave her an engagement ring just days earlier. That's what prosecutors claimed at the suspect's arraignment earlier today. Prosecutors also claim Gary Gromkowitz also uh, own mother, I should say, told investigators that she had given her son an ultimatum to pick one girl. And just days after Layla Duarte de Luz's body was found in Carbuckle Pond in Coventry, prosecutors claim Gromkowitz proposed to someone else. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuda was at the arraignment today and tells us what else prosecutors had to say. Well, prosecutors say the two men are believed to have met in prison. Gronkwitz and Deleuze had a history of dating, but as we found out in the courtroom, there was another woman in the picture. The Honorable District Court is back in session. As the defendants walk in, the judge warns them to listen carefully. Gary Gronkwitz, Michael Lambert. Telling them they're both charged with very serious offenses, murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Gary Gronquitz in the white and Michael Lambert in the dark blue are accused of killing Layla Dort Deleuze on December 21st. That same day, an angler found her body at Carbuncle Pond in Coventry. Authorities say they believe Gronquitz was the father of her unborn child. Water in the lungs indicated the female was alive when she entered the water. Deleuze was wearing a wedding band when the police found her, one that prosecutors say was only purchased two days prior by Gronkwitz. For the first time, we're learning about the timeline police have put together for this case. It starts at about 2.30 a.m. Deleuze is seen getting into a car in Brockton with the two men. This was five and a half hours before her body was found at Carbuncle Pond. According to cell phone data, police say the car went to Warwick, Pawtucket, Lincoln, then Coventry, where it's believed they stayed for about 40 minutes. In an area near the Connecticut state line. Then prosecutors say the car and cell phones went to Situate and then Cumberland, where they went to a woman's home. The same woman police say Gronkowitz proposed to just three days after Deleuze was found dead. Later that same morning, police say the two men drove to Providence and Gromkowitz tried withdrawing money out of Deleuze's bank account, but it was denied. This was less than two hours after the body of Deleuze had been found at Carbuncle Pond and approximately three hours after it was estimated Deleuze was left in the water. Both men were held without bail. This case now moves to Superior Court. Reporting in Warwick, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.